What's going on, everybody? How you doing? Lord PDTV here to give you our Mythic Plus information for this upcoming week. This is going to involve whatever information that I have here in front of me that has been new from upcoming information throughout the whole entire week. Now, as always, we're going to go right into it. First, what we're going to end up talking about is what our Mythic Plus affixes are going to be looking like this week. So this week we're gonna have our we're gonna have Zelotap's bargain as always for our baseline which is our you know our two key if you will now the biggest thing that it could be it could be pretty much any of them so this is what I am estimating okay so we had for the first week we had Ascension second week Oblivion third void bound and obviously this last week was devour since this week is starting as a tyrannical week then peril then fortified what i am going to estimate it's going to be more than likely oblivion okay so i'm thinking that oblivion is going to be our two affects i do not think that they're going to implement another tyrannical with the same zelotap bargain we had before and since we just had Devour, it just seems logical to me that we're going to have Oblivion. So I'm going to be guessing and telling you that we're going to have Oblivion, Tyrannical, Challenger's Peril, Fortified, then Zelotov's Guile. So quick rundown what Oblivion is. Uh, Oblivion is going to be that crystal spawn and move towards the enemy in combat, which means that once they reach a target, they get a damage reduction and pl if players uh, get in the way of those crystals, they're going to get Mastery and Leech, which is pretty nice. So we're going to have that. Tyrannical, bosses are going to deal more health and they're going to deal more damage. Uh, 25, 15, as always. Peril, deaths are going to cost 15 seconds instead of 5. And then Fortified at 10, which means non-boss enemies are going to have more health and deal more damage. And then the Affix removal of Guile, with the increase of 10% flat at 12. So I think these are very interesting to kind of go by and think of when you're looking at what we have in front of us. I really think that we're gonna have a lot of enjoyment out of it. I think we're gonna have a lot of you know interesting uh, combinations of things that are gonna happen here. But I really think that they've really streamlined, in my personal opinion, what the affixes are looking like and what at the people are gonna be feeling every week. So I think that, that they did a really, really good job there. Uh, as always, please make sure you hit that subscribe button here. Uh, we are looking to get more people here. We have the hours to, you know, start, uh, you know, having partnerships and things like that. But we need the subscribers. So please make sure you take a moment and subscribe to the channel. Uh, now, the other thing I was, we want to talk about is what the hotfixes are looking like for this week. So in the grand scheme of things... There were a handful of different class changes throughout the whole entire week in PTR. I haven't seen any that have been pushed into this new, how should I say, this new week of updates. The only thing that we have here is uh, Mage. Fire Mage has corrected an issue with Control Destruction Damage Bonus to Ignite. Warlock's Demonology fixed an issue where Runination and in Infernal both Infernal Boat bolt blah, 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 could not be interrupted and they nerfed um delves last week as we spoke before they took uh you know i think it's zakivir the uh, you know the big boss mob where you could complete him and, and finish him but you weren't getting anything really from it so people weren't touching it this week they've changed it so when you defeat him uh, you could do it once per week. You're going to get Crest and Valor Stones per character per week. Now, there's other changes here, which I'm going to end up talking uh, through. Uh, Dawnbreaker, uh, Rashinan will no longer continue fighting the player after they brought, you know, the 60% level down using the, the uh, what's it called? Using the grenades and bombs and things like that. Resolved an issue causing encroaching shadows to be removed by immunity effects. So that's that one. Siege of Boralus. Resolved an issue causing fiery ricochet to not apply its damage over time. 
if it if a target was too far away re resolved an issue that caused sighted artillery to not target players farther away from dread captain lockwood that's there stone vault resolved an issue causing summons such as auto hammers from destroying vol voltation sparks on edna and then there are things from the raid also for the queen which means they reduce the damage of frothy toxin damage gloom blast damage both by 15 percent when calculating applications of frothy toxin only living players are now counted towards the maximum possible application amount on heroic and mythic difficulties and then they've done a whole bunch of nerfs on mythic difficulty also uh reduced health reduced damage reduced health for sinking tomb uh wrist damage during intermission grasps uh maximum size shadow gate cast time gloom blast alakite uh, acolyte i'm sorry essence damage essence shards royal conundrum damage summoned acolyte damage dark barrier royal shackle all that stuff has been worked on so those are some of the the things that are definitely happening now i just want to really quickly talk about some things that changed this past week that i've already spoke about because they were so big i had to discuss them as soon as i heard them but i want to make sure people still know about them so rune crests are now being awarded up to mythic plus sevens and gilded crests are now being awarded in mythic plus eights they're increasing zelotaf bargain affixes from 20 seconds to 30 seconds they've also the guile uh now for which used to increase enemy health used to be 20 percent. now it's 10 percent. and then they did a couple of changes here where dawnbreaker uh, issue where the dark orb uh for the first boss was scaling to the player size so they fixed that visual mist of tyranna scythe uh the second boss with the dodgeballs miss caller uh now those dodgeballs no longer inflict damage to the illusions or any ads that might be zolotaps that are there seizure boralis resolved an issue causing chopper wreck red hook to be pulled by such spells as halo and starfall and uh yeah that that was some of the the bigger things and then like the profession stuff we, we've discussed about um the profane tinder boxes and all that other stuff can be now um you know bought so you have all of those things uh that were brought in there um let's see is there anything else that was important um just kind of rolling through right here <coughs> city of threads void puddles no longer spawn off if the boss immediately reset during the coagulation fight uh fixed an issue causing echo strands and nx dusk bringer to instantly deal damage instead of fading at the end of the fang of the queen encounter uh zeloftaf's bargain devour on dawnbreaker the amount of healing the boss can receive is now adjusted to be more appropriate to the fight encounter yeah and then the eighth i think i kind of went through all of those those were last last week's too i went through all of that information already so all right thank you all for checking us out listening to this we are on twitch.tv and youtube every single monday through friday uh most of the time we are on definitely at night time so please check us out after four o'clock uh, we're going to be doing a lot more push keys. We have a community raid on Friday. I'm going to try to do com uh, community keys also. Excuse me. Community keys also. So hopefully we get through that. So thank you all. Love you. Dream big. Keep gaming. Good luck on your vaults. If you're looking to support the channel, we are part of uh, Spawn Point Coffee. Please make sure you go there. Check us out. Use Lord PDTV 20 to get 20% off there i'm sorry pdtv20 you get 20 percent off there um and then also you know our merch store we have lots of cool things there so thanks everyone love you bye everybody